I have tried everything. Um, I won't name names, I'll put it to you this way. High protein, high fat, eight glasses of water a day, uh, cottage cheese, grapefruit, uh, grapefruit diet. I remember one diet, I think everybody will remember this one, where you ate only bagels all day long. <laughs> I think I won't even name the names of what that was. Uh, fruit diets, everything. And what it did is it put me into the yo-yo syndrome. And the yo-yo syndrome would be, yeah, I'd lose weight, sure. Sure, I believe that any of these diet programs, of course you're gonna lose weight if you keep them, but that's the clincher. Can you stick to it? How do you live like that? How do you go to a rest stop? How do you go to school? How do you, how do you go to work? How do you wake up in the morning? How do you wake up in the middle of the night if you have a craving and stick to these crazy diets? It's not natural, it's not human. We're all human beings, we have cravings, we have weaknesses, and what happens is, if you are motivated for a period of time, for whatever reason in your life, that motivation is gonna stop if you're unhappy, if something happens in your life, if, if you're excited. Because, you know, we eat if we're depressed, we eat if we're happy. Everything's a party. So, the problem with these diets and these products is that you can't keep them. Some of them, even though they're very nutritionally balanced, I don't really think um, are good for people that are on the go. If you work, you can't possibly follow recipes. Some of the recipes on some of these programs are wonderful. They're low fat, they're low calorie, they're delicious, the booklets look beautiful, but you know what? I don't have time if I work and first come home at six o'clock in the evening to go to the market and buy organic vegetables to cook for my family. If I have a small child at home and I don't work and I'm busy cleaning a house all day, I don't have time. Some of them are very expensive. Some of the ingredients, very expensive. So you're talking about budget, you're talking about what's reasonable and rational in your lifestyle and a time factor. When we do what's called cheating on a diet plan, and then you do go off your particular diet, the guilt puts you into a tailspin of depression where now you eat more. If things in your life are not going exactly like you want it, it feeds the addiction. If the addiction is food and you go off your diet regimen, the depression becomes more severe. If you have a craving and you don't eat what the craving is, you're gonna eat your way to the craving and then you're gonna eat the craving anyway. I love to say that really there's no dieting. There's no cheating therefore. If you don't diet, you can't cheat.